this invoice. A lot of confusing terms. Just go to truecar.com, newer used car. You could save three grand off MSRP. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell was on earlier today. We asked him about a variety of things, the XFL. Uh, is he worried about I like what he said about the ratings. He said, listen, we, we consider everything. We think there's some social things. Uh, is there, you know, I, I'm, I've always gone back to there's just so many games at so many times, London, Thursday, Monday, Saturday, that maybe it's kind of splintered. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I think the Kaepernick situation, obviously, I didn't think that helped. But one of the things I talked to the commissioner about, I said, listen, man, I'm a football fan, and I love football my entire life. The problem with football now, and this has never happened to me before, but it's happening a lot over the last three and four years, I'm confused on what a catch is. Like, and I love football, and I know the rules mostly, right? I'm not an official, but I know the rules. And I'm like, if I'm a consumer and I'm confused by a catch, then what about a casual fan? Like, once TV's confusing, if you have to explain the joke, the joke's not funny. If you have to explain the plot, the plot, the movie's not good. If you got to explain the play, it, you're, you're taking an emotional connection with the audience out. And I said to Roger Goodell, I, I said, I, I think you you got to get it right. And I it, it it's hard for me to understand some of these. And here's what he, how he responded. I'm not just somewhat concerned. I am concerned. We just had five Hall of Fame receivers and several coaches come in to focus on the catch-no-catch no catch rule. You want there to be clarity from an officiating standpoint, a coaching and a player standpoint. They know what it is, what it isn't. They draft the rule. The competition committee looks at it. They bring it to the membership, and they want that clarity. But what happens is it's not the rule that people really want. One of our Hall of Fame receivers said it well. Fans want catches. And we've got some ideas of how to bring clarity to that. It's particularly in the going to the ground that I think has created a lot of the confusion. And I think that's what we're focusing on. Yeah, like I, I, I'll never think that play right there with Jesse James is not a catch. Uh, I, I've always argued you can you could keep the rule, but when it comes to touchdowns, if you've got the ball and your feet are near down and the ball crosses the plane, that's a catch. Of course, this is the famous Des Bryant catch, which, you know, I grew up where ball one, two feet down, that is a catch. That that will never not be a catch for me. Like Des Bryant, that's a catch. Uh, I don't like the idea that if on your way down and you're lunging, the ball comes loose. I, I just, uh, that will never feel, like to me, it's real simple. Do you have the ball and do you have two feet down? Bang, bang, it's a catch. Now, initially, I was told they changed the rule because they were getting too many of these, got it, feet down, and then f fumbles. They're, they're, they, you know, what they don't want to have is ball, feet down, and then it'd be a fumble. What they'd rather say is incomplete, right? They, they wanted to take change of possession. There were too many fumbles from receivers, and they didn't like what it was doing to the game giving teams uh, un kind of unfair advantages. And so my takeaway is what the commissioner said is you don't want to take away slam dunks in the NBA or home runs in baseball or great catches or long drives in golf. What your People are paying more money than ever for sports. Don't take away the great plays. You know, I can whenever you see a dunk and a guy hangs on the rim too long and they tech him, like move on. Like people pay money. It's almost like when you parent. I don't remember any Tuesday in my life. I can remember birthday parties, my dad taking me to Mount Rainier, going skiing, going water skiing. You, you remember great events in your life. Those are the things we brag about in sports, the David Tyree catch and the Joe Montana to John Taylor in the back of the end zone and uh, Big Ben to San Antonio Holmes in the corner. You don't want to take those out. Those are things that we all talk about in a bar, in a restaurant, with our buddies, at a tailgate, in a game 30 years later. You start taking away one or two great catches a week in the NFL, you know, that's allow greatness to happen is a really good rule. And I thought the commissioner was honest and transparent when he said, yeah, we're really concerned. And there's a, there's a story out that's come out over the last couple of days that the league is looking into uh, uh, adapting its rule. And I think that's a good thing. Stefan Diggs, Vikings wide receiver, will join us tomorrow. Tony Gonzalez, Alex Smith is on the show as well tomorrow as we drop in on Super Bowl 
what, 52, something like that, LL? I wish they'd get rid of the letters and yeah. just give us the number. Yeah, me too. Uh, are you starting a company or you have one and you're in need of talent? Well, that's where ZipRecruiter comes in. ZipRecruiter is for all those companies out there that have good ideas, but what they don't have is enough people, quality people, to implement them. ZipRecruiter, you post your job there, it'll be posted to over 100 of the Internet's leading job boards with a single click. And they have matching technology that's different. Unlike other hiring sites, they don't depend on the candidates finding you. They find the candidates. That's why 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate in just one day. Right now, my listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. Just do ZipRecruiter.com slash herd, ZipRecruiter.com slash H-E-R-D. It's the herd.